you've seen how in the timeline I was able to control all the elements for the animatic, audio, animation and transition. In the um, storyboard I was able to create sketches and adding also captions. Now we are going to see how to export all this material. First, uh, you can export it as a QuickTime animatic. You can simply type uh, um, a name for the a location and a name for the file. You can also set uh, a scene range if you want. And then you can just export by choosing the quality and the compression for the QuickTime file. When the uh, rendering is done, you see that QuickTime automatically opens. The animatic will contain the transition and also the animation that I define in the timeline. So apart from this uh, animatic, I can also export from the storyboard sketches. Also in this case, I can select a location, type a name and also a a scene range for the sketches or I can export a uh, Toons project to start the production with Toons. Also in this case I can set um, the name for the project and the scene range I want to export to Toons. Another possibility that I have is to print out the storyboard. When I select the print command the page layout window opens. Here I can load uh, a template for printing out my storyboard. In this case, for instance, this template contains two rows made of three elements each. Or I can load a different one where I have three columns. Or I can create my own layout. I can define the page properties by opening the page setup dialog. I can set the orientation, sides, uh, etc. I can activate the grid uh, and set the sides for the grid uh, for reference when creating the, the layout. And then I can start drag and dropping uh, elements. Now I've placed the first uh, sketch element, the first scene details caption, and the first dialogue and sound effects caption. So what I'm going to do is to create a, a two columns layout. I can also add at the top of the sketch the panel number and the panel duration. For this field I can also set uh, the, um, the format for the text. So I choose a, a font, a size, a color, a style, etc. Now if I want to uh, create the second column all I have to do is just to select all the elements by control clicking them and then copy and paste them so the second column is done additional element can be added uh, for instance I can add also production title and episode information or the page numbering also in this case I can format the the way the number will be displayed on my uh, page. And when my layout is ready, I can simply decide to um, print it out or to print it to a PDF format. You see, this is uh, the PDF file that is autom automatically displayed. So now my storyboard is available in a graphical form that can be easily exchanged with uh, other studios or with other people inside my studio.